sisters that fight. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm your girl. Can I be your best friend too? <laughs> now, the, the end of the year is almost here. 2024 is almost here. And so this video right here is all about staying in your own lane. Now, you know your girl is big on staying in her own lane. I, even when I was like a little kid, I swear to God, I really didn't like to do what everybody else did. If, when I was growing up, the girls was thought maybe like running after the boys with something cute and stuff like that. But I had a, a home girl where me and her, literally, we didn't do what everybody else did. We decided to stay in our own lane and honestly be what we wanted to be and not do what everybody else was doing. Literally. I'm that type of girl where if it is a big trend to do something, I am big on doing it three, four years later. I swear to God, I'm, I'm super big. Like back in the days when everybody was wearing Jordans um, and that was like a big thing to do, I'm gonna be honest with you, I waited until I was damn near 28 to be getting on a, on a Jordan train. Now, that's just a few examples of me loving to just stay in my own lane. I don't believe in following cloud or running behind anybody Especially because I feel like if I feel like I'm the cloud or I am great, like why do I need to follow behind anybody or, or trying to be in somebody else's lane when being in my own lane always work for your girl, right? Now I'm not saying it's not it's nothing wrong with honestly um, getting advice from people or to maybe seeing what something that somebody is doing and wanting to follow behind it, there's nothing wrong with it. But remember, your lane is your lane. In the world that we live in, people are always trying to do the next big trend. Just like on like TikTok, for example, right? Just use an example. If a video goes viral, everybody is trying to do it now there's nothing wrong with that now i'm not trying to say there's nothing wrong with trying to get down with the tiktok dance hey but if that's not something that is your style you don't have to do it right it's literally don't pretty much stand in your own lane is never feel like you have to be forced to do something that is not you right if you are a homebody and that is your lane be that like don't now now it's okay with getting out your comfort zone but getting out your comfort zone and getting out your lane those are two different things i remember um i was talking to a friend of mine and she was dating this guy right and she was like i when i'm dating a guy i'm making sure i'm dating a guy that's more in my lane and i'm like what does that mean she was like if I'm in school, if I'm trying to, you know, be educated, if I'm getting myself together, if I'm a great mom, I want to make sure I'm dating a man who is a great father, who is pretty much leveling his stuff up too. Like, I'm not interested in pretty much running behind a man that is not in my lane, like not doing what I'm doing, right? And I said, well, what about if you find a man that is maybe doing better than you then she's like well he's already been in my lane so that's more appealing i said well what about if a man legit don't, that is doing better than you maybe don't want to mess with you because you're not in their lane she was like what well, it is what it is and i agree with her it is what it is because never try to knock yourself in somebody else's lane if that's not what you're supposed to be. now you may say well best friend how do i know what my lane is let's talk about it first of all figure out and think about all the things that you like to do. What do you like to enjoy? What makes you happy, right? So if, let's just say for an example, for me, matter of fact, story time, really quick, story time. I was hanging out with a group of friends and I am a social drinker, right? I'm a social drinker, it is what it is. I'm not that type of woman or um, that sits around and, and drink on like a bottle of Hennessy, but I love Hennessy. Love Hennessy. If you love Hennessy, that's when you're up. But I'm not gonna sit around and drink shots of Hennessy by myself. Um, be drinking just to be drinking. I am a social drinker. It is what it is. I like to drink when I'm out enjoying myself, or if I have friends over, I will have a bottle 
we all crack up a bottle of wine or champagne that I'm because I'm a social drinker. That's my lane when it comes to drinking. Also, I've never been into like doing um like drugs or whatever. Like it's just not my thing. You know what I'm saying? Like you no know, narcotics, stuff like that's not my thing. That's my lane. When I was younger, my mother said, never do anything that I feel like that would take control of my body and I have no control of it when I take it. So I never, I don't really even like taking Tylenol, literally. My headache has to be on 10 for me to take it. I prefer to go to bed, go to sleep and sleep it off than take anything. So literally, I'm hanging out with this group of people and you know, we, we, we hanging out, everything great. Um, we, you know what I'm saying? When we go to the bar, you know, I drink my, my, my little cocktail. We're having a great time because I'm out and about. So I may get me one or two drinks. I know my limit. So me and uh, these group of girls or whatever. Um, and I might draw, I mean, I'm, I may be like 26, 27 at this time. Me and, a group of, me and the same group of girls or whatever. We're all chilling at one of my friend's house. And they're like, um, hey, y'all want to take some shots? And I'm like, mm, I don't really know. That's not really my thing. And she was like, girl, don't be acting like you don't drink. And I said, I do, but I'm more of a social drinker. And I drink or whatever. I'm a fruity type of drinker or whatever. I like the fruity drinks or whatever. I'm not big on like the shots. And so she was like, oh, you think you too good? I said, baby, I'm going to be honest with you. I know what taking shots will do to me. Right? It would have me out. Out, out. So, I got to stay in my own lane on this one and listen to my, my gut feeling. And I got to say, nah, if you got, some, you know, some cranberry juice, I can, you know, mix it with the cranberry juice. But that's more of my thing. That's more of my speed. And she called me approved. And I was like, huh? And I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of you guys, sometimes you'll find yourself jumping out of your lane to jump in somebody else's lane because you do not want to be the prude like you don't want to be these things but don't be afraid to be these things because your lane is your lane right that's the reason why it makes you uniquely what you are and who you are and i can't change who i am unfortunately that's what it is so um when we went out for my my friend's birthday i had a drink and she was like little miss think she better than everybody and i was like no baby i'm a social drinker and my friend was like i'm gonna be honest with you Literally, I only drink when I go out with you guys. And she was like, huh? She was like, yeah, I'm a social drinker. I only go out with you guys, whatever. That's it. You feel me? So I know what my lane is. And I, I'm okay with being in the lane that I am in. Right? So I'm going to tell y'all. Know what you are. Know what type of person you is. And never try to fall out of it. Like, literally, don't be afraid to just be what you are and who you are. And not, don't, like, don't feel bad and never apologize for you being what you are. Like, like I said, I'm a woman who I don't really believe in, like, chasing behind somebody who got clout when I feel like I'm the clout. You feel me? Like, I may look at somebody and be like, oh, I like what they're doing. I like her hair. I like her style. Cool. But I'm not going to be up under her like, oh my God, you saw this, this, this. That ain't me. It ain't never been me. And I'm a shy person. So it just ain't never been me to just run up under somebody trying to be what they is to make myself feel validated. Because I feel like I'm already, like I'm already validated. And, may, and I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of y'all may say, well, best friend, that has a lot to do with confidence. And I agree. But I'm going to be honest with you, I don't always have confidence. Like I'm not always a confident person, but that's the reason why it's so important for me to stay in my own lane so nobody legit, I never feel like I'm competing with anyone because I'm literally competing with myself because I am what I am and who I am, amen. Um, I remember a friend of mine was telling me that there's two different types of people in this world. It's the person legit that is always looking in the mirror trying to be the best version of theirself and you got the person that's always looking in the mirror trying to be the ver best version of someone else and she always asked and i remember the, i remember she asked me like, which what which one are you and at the time i was trying to be like everybody else like growing up i literally tried to be like everybody else i tried to be what everybody else wanted me to be i was always in everybody else's lane i didn't have a lane if you would have asked me 
you know, who you were and what you was, I couldn't answer that question. Because literally, my life was trying to make everybody else around me happy. But today, mm -mm. like imagine trying to be in somebody's lane and you in their lane, but they don't even like you. They don't even want you in their lane. You feel me? So just, mm, 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 mm. just be comfortable in your own lane. And if you feel like you gotta sometimes, sometimes you're in the lane by yourself, it's okay. Like if people mess with you or whatever, like they gonna mess with you. If if it's meant, it's meant. Like even with me being single, people like, well, best friend, like you're always going to be single. Like, no, I'ma stay in my own lane. I'ma do what I need to do. And if the right person come along while I'm doing me, then I know it's meant to be, right? Because me chasing behind anything other than my dreams and Jesus is not, I'm not interested in doing it. Can I get an amen? So in the app, once again, the POF app, if you don't know, I am a live streamer on the platform. Um, make sure y'all check out your girl, Can I Be Your Best Friend, Top Badge, Boo Boo. In on the platform, I have a family in my own lane. Woo -woo. And I decided to brand myself with IMOL because that describes what I am and who I am. And I like being around people that like to be in their own lane because I feel like they're not followers, they're leaders. They're not chasing behind the next big thing when they already feel like they're the next best thing. Like the confidence behind being in your own lane, you gotta have it. Other than that, you will fall victim and weak of trying to chase after someone else, right? Now, story time on how I decided to gravitate to this 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 IMOL. Literally, it was one of my, my great Thai Bad friends and we would verse from time to time and I remember she told me this she was like best friend don't you think that you would be farther in the app if you maybe visit you know you know more streams and you set in like at the top batch of streams and maybe you were mingled with more of the boss badges boss badges are some of the biggest gifters of this, the platform um and and I agree with her 100% by all means I agree with her. Could I be farther? Yes. Is that me? No. I've never been the type of person I want to sit at somebody else's table because of what they got or what they can do for me. Never. Right? I've always been the type of person who's always been authentic and genuine and people gravitate to me because of who I am or I gravitate to them because of who they are authentically, not because of what they can do for me. Never. Um, been, been who I am so when she said this I remember her saying like nah I'm good I prefer to be in my own lane and I kept saying it and saying it so when it was time for me to go ahead and create a movement on the app I decided to do IMOL and the reason why is because that is how I move in my own lane I prefer right now currently I'm working on 158 million diamonds um, top 75 all time in the app and I did that literally from being in my own lane. Every big wig I know on the app is because I genuinely met them, not by clout chasing or being unauthentic to them. If I mess with you and if I like you, I'ma genuinely gravitate to you because I think you're dope. Has nothing to do with your clout, has, never to, it has nothing to do with what you can do for me, but because your energy drew me to you right it drew me to your lane for the time being because one thing that your lane and your my lane have in common is energy vibe and positivity right like imagine people authentically wanting to be around you because they genuinely like what you are and who you are not because of what you got not because of what you can do for them and not because of who you know literally because they like you and being on the platform that i am people legit will gravitate to you because of who you know, what you are, and how much money you spend on the app. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I want genuine people in my, my job life and in my real life. Like I want people to genuinely wanna be in my lane and mess with me because of who I am as a person, not because of what I can give them or what I can offer them. Because I'm baby, the only thing I can offer you is good energy and maybe some, 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 a piece of gum, maybe. 
because right now I ain't got none. But, you know, that's probably what I can... You know what I'm saying? Because I am the type of person, legit, like I said, if you have a good spirit and good attitude, then maybe, legit, I will mess with you. But I've always been a shy girl. So, and like I said, I'm not saying that being in your own lane is always good. All I'm trying to say is being in your own lane will let you know what type of people you want to be around because when you're sitting with yourself, by yourself, for yourself, to yourself, you have the opportunity to look at everybody else and what they're doing and see who you want to be around and who you don't. But once again, don't never feel like how you're moving today and what you are doing today is bad. If, you, if things in your life are moving slow, maybe it's moving slow for a reason. Like, think about it. And if things in your life is not going the way you want it to go, that doesn't mean, oh, it's just like a person that has a great nine to five, but they're like, oh my God, my, I'm not making enough money, so let me go rob a bank. Like, no, baby. And then you get caught. That ain't your lane. You know what I'm saying? Um, last quick little story time. Once again, I remember when I was 11th grade year. And literally, I, I went to this new school once again. Um, me and my bestie, we started we was hanging out, bah, 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 bah. And I had the type of mother where literally, she didn't let me go nowhere. Like, literally, I was a latchkey kid. Like, couldn't go nowhere. So, when I got in 11th grade and my homegirl gave, was like, hey, you want to ditch? I was like, oh, no, because I was scared. I was like, mm, don't want to don't wanna do that. But I did because... I don't know why. Maybe and I, don't, I don't encourage it. I, I did. And um, I was nervous the whole time. And I remember um, fast forward or whatever, we wound up getting caught. Right? And not getting caught ditching, but we wound up getting caught because some other stuff. But we wound up getting caught. And I remember my mom, I was in the car with my mom. And I remember my mom was like, why, why, would, you, why would you ditch? Like, how does that make sense? And I was just like... Well, because my friend was doing it, and you know that's my friend, and I didn't want her to go by herself. She was like, "Well, aren't you your own individual? Your individual, y'all can still be friends." Um, and she was like, "Just because she's ditching doesn't mean that you're not her friend if you don't ditch." And I was like, "My mama make a point." Because it wasn't like I ditched and I had a great time. Like literally, I ditched and I messed up my grades, and I ditched and disappointed my mom, and I ditched and. So many things could have happened with me not being on school grounds, right? Like, let's say if I would have got kidnapped or something like that, and it would have been my fault, right? And all because I'm trying to fit in or I am i don't want my friend to be by herself. So literally, th that's like a great example of just because your friends are doing something doesn't mean that you have to do it because if that's their lane, that's not yours. So... Remember, learn to be authentically what you are. Be always genuine to, to, to what you know, right? It is okay with doing things that, you know, that your friends like doing. Let's say if you got a friend that likes to skydive and you scared of heights, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, don't take me skydiving because that ain't my lane. Like, I'm scared of heights. Like, I'm gonna make your whole traveling experience not that great because that ain't my lane. But if you're the type of person where maybe heist is not your lane, but maybe that's something you want to do, then by all means, do it. But if you know something or someone or the vibe is not your lane, the energy is not your lane, it's just not what you are, it's not who you are, and you know in your gut feeling something's telling you that maybe you shouldn't do it and it's not for you, listen to it, right? Listen to that little voice that says, you know what? I prefer to sit with myself by myself and gather this by myself than to try to chase behind somebody else's idea when who you never know if their idea is better than your idea. And once again, I'm not saying you got all the answers and I'm not saying I got all the answers. But what I'm trying to say is being true and authentic to what you are and who you are will always make you feel good in the end. Because if you fail, at least you failed because you tried. And if you did great, at least you did great because you tried. You're getting, you're getting results and lessons in both. Remember, being in your own lane is great. Ain't nothing wrong with you legit not doing what everybody else is doing. Because just because they're doing it doesn't mean they're happy doing it.
Think about it. And if you got friends that don't want to do certain things that you do, don't force them. Allow them to be in their own lane. Allow them to come around. Because I guarantee you, they either will or they won't. But that's all I got for y'all. Be in your own lane with can I be your best friend? Two. Now, we come up on the end, like the end of the year. Like I said, we got what? Three days, y'all. And I want y'all to think about, honestly, honestly, what can I do to figure out my life before the end of this, this year happens? Have I been moving in directions and, and waves that maybe is unfamiliar to me? A lot of you guys, like I said, we fail because we're moving at the beat of somebody else's drum. And sometimes, legit, if you just stick with yourself and by yourself to yourself, sometimes that works. Learn to just surround yourself with people that are in your, your, in your lane, right? If you're a positive pe person, be around positive people. If you're a type of person that likes to drink coffee and tea on a Saturday, surround yourself with those type of people. If you like reading books, surround yourself with people that have maybe book clubs and things of that sort. Don't be afraid to surround yourself with people legit that are like-minded like you. Because these are the people legit that are going to think that your hobbies and things that you do are not, they're, they're not going to think it's stupid. They're going to think it's beautiful. They're going to think it's amazing. Right? And also, too, if you surround yourself with people that are not in your lane, they don't think, they don't, some of them can hold you back. Like, some of, somebody have been holding you back because you are in their lane and they're not supposed to be in your lane. Amen? And let me tell you something. Just because a person's not, don't do what you do doesn't mean that y'all not supposed to be friends. Because opposites do attract. But I'm here to tell you guys, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And tell all your friends that best friend said, like, comment, and subscribe.